Draw Every Day with JJK. Hi everyone. Welcome back to my art studio. Again, I'm Jarrett, but you can call me JJK, and this is a Wednesday episode of Draw Every Day with JJK. Now, we're in the middle of week two, and today I want to talk about friends. Your characters in your stories are going to need friends. They're going to need someone to talk to, and those conversations that those two characters have will move the story forward. So, let me start by drawing two friends in one of my books that help continue and move the story forward as they talk with one another. And I'm going to start off with just some shapes, remember, from that first lesson. I'm going to sharpen my pencil here. There we go. Okay, so one character. The first thing I do is I draw an upside down teardrop and then I draw a regular ended teardrop. I bet you know who this is. This is the lunch lady. And I'm going to draw just a gesture sketch of her standing confidently. Now, do you know who lunch lady's best friend is? It's Betty. Betty is her sidekick. Batman has Robin. James Bond has Q. Lunch lady has Betty. Now, when you're drawing different characters, you have to worry and think about the proportions of one character to the other. So if you remember back to last week, I talked about how you can measure the character's head to figure out the proportions of the character's head to their body. But Betty is just a little bit shorter than Lunch Lady. So every time I draw Betty, they need to have that same height difference. Because if I ever drew Betty to be really much taller than Lunch Lady and they were standing on the same plane, it would be very confusing to the reader. Okay. So with Betty, the first thing I do is I draw a circle. And then I draw a bell shape. And those are the first two shapes that I use when I'm drawing Betty. I'm going, to I'm going to draw her crossing her arms. Now remember, I draw that plus sign on the character's heads. Imagine putting a plus sign on a balloon so I can know where their eyes, nose, and mouths go. Betty has big old glasses. Lunch lady has a big old perm. They both have yellow aprons. Okay, I'm happy with the sketch. I'm going to ink in my drawing. Now, typically when I'm working on my actual books, I take a brush, I dip it into ink, but for these exercises, I'm using a black Sharpie. You can use any old black marker. And this is just a way for me to give you this lesson a little bit more quickly. In a future lesson, in another week, I'll talk more about how I dip brushes into ink to draw the artwork from the finished pages in my comics. Now remember, you can always pause this at any moment. You can play it back. You can revisit it on the weekends. I am able to draw these characters so quickly because, well, one, I invented these characters. I could almost draw the characters without looking. And also, you know, I have a lot of practice in general because I've, I've been doing this for years and years and years and years. So Betty invents all of Lunch Lady's super spy gadgets. If you've read the Lunch Lady books, you know 
that she has a spatucopter, she has fish tick nunchucks, she has a milk carton that can spy on the villains. And the reason for that is that, you know, she's a lunch lady and she doesn't want everyone knowing she's also a crime fighter. So all of her spy gear and her crime fighting equipment is disguised as things you would find in a school cafeteria. And at the end of every lunch lady story, they defeat the villain, they capture the villain, and then Betty proclaims justice is served. Now, because I had Betty talk, I'm going to go ahead and open her mouth there. Because there would be weird if she was talking and her mouth was not open. Now, let me tell you about the first time I ever had anything published. It ties into Lunch Lady and Betty. It's my eighth grade yearbook. This is my eighth grade yearbook from Gates Lane School in Worcester, Massachusetts. Uh, as you can tell uh, by the, the character's clothing, I graduated in 1991 and I was listening to a lot of MC Hammer, Vanilla Ice, and Belle Biv DeVoe. Uh, but also, all of my friends, my lifelong friends, I met when I was in grade school. There's my buddy Mike. There's my buddy Pat. There's me right there. My buddy Kevin's right there too, right behind us. And in my eighth grade yearbook, not only did I draw the cover, but I drew all of my classmates. So every single one of my classmates and all of their early 90s hair glory, like my buddy Brian Fenton right there, Kim Engdahl, Nicole Foskett, I drew their, I drew, I drew a little caricature of every single classmate, all of my friends. Let me tell you about how I draw another pair of friends from my books. Now, Platypus Police Squad, I mentioned this in an earlier, uh, in, an, in an earlier episode. Platypus Police Squad, are, these are chapter books. They're illustrated novels, and they're meant to feel like an awesome 80s cop movie, but for kids. And we have the old timer, Detective Corey O'Malley, who is grizzled and just done with everything. And we have Detective Rick Zango, who's the hotshot young rookie who plays fast and loose with the rules. So again, I start off with shapes. For Detective Zango, I draw a shape like so. For O'Malley, I draw a shape like this a shorter, more squatter shape. And again, one character, Rick Zango, is taller than the other character. So I always keep that in mind when I'm drawing these shapes. So I'm going to draw their arms and legs, their hair, now, even though they're platypuses, uh, Detective Corey O'Malley is kind of balding, and Detective Rick Zango has a uh, trendy haircut. They have their big aviator sunglasses. They have their duck bills. And Rick Zango is cool and hip. He's got a leather jacket, an untucked shirt. Corey O'Malley has been wearing the same polyester suit for 30 years. It doesn't quite fit him anymore. Now, these two characters do not start off as friends. They start off really annoying one another. And you know what? Sometimes that's how friendships start.
Okay, so there's Rick Zango, and then here, it, oh, you know what? I always forget to draw their badges. They wear their badges around their collar. So they don't wear uniforms because they're detectives. And these two characters were named for two of my friends who were police officers. One, uh, and I both knew these friends as teenagers. One, uh, Chris Zango, who is uh, a state trooper. And then my buddy, Corey McGrath, who is a police officer with the MIT Police Department in Cambridge, Massachusetts. And there they are. Now, speaking of friends, I am going to be inviting another one of my author illustrator pals to draw for us today. And today I'm bringing on my oldest friend in the world of children's books. I'm talking about my pal, Grace Lynn. Grace and I met way back in the late 1900s, 1999, the fall of 1999. The fall of 1999, we ended up living on the same street in Somerville, Massachusetts. And you might know Grace from Where the Mountain Meets the Moon or the companion book When the Sea Turned to Silver. This book earned Grace a Newbery Honor. This book earned her a National Book Award finalist sticker. Now, my books don't have the stickers on them because I picked them up just as they were published before they were awarded those fancy, stick, those fancy stickers. Um, so these books celebrate Chinese folk tales. Uh, they're beautiful, beautifully illustrated uh, chapter books, novels, they, they are. And this was a huge departure for Grace because before these books, Grace was known for making picture books like Olvina Swims. Now, the, her most recent picture book uh, won a Caldecott honor, but this was my introduction to Grace and this was the world's introduction to Grace, The Ugly Vegetables. I'm proud to say that I was at Grace Lynn's very first book signing ever in the fall of 1999 at Curious George Bookstore in Cambridge, Massachusetts. And this is what she wrote to me. To Jarrett, someday you will be signing a book for me and I hope you think of something better to write. Best wishes, Grace. And it's true, I hadn't had any books published yet. I met Grace just before this one was published and we'd go to this place called the Sunday Cafe, which was down the street from where we lived. And we'd sit and we'd talk about life and art and children's publishing and the business of children's publishing. And it was Grace Lynn who gave me a key piece of advice that led to my first published book. The Ugly Vegetables, if you haven't read it yet, is a celebration of Grace's Chinese heritage where her mom is, is, is growing uh, Chinese vegetables and Grace thinks that they're just ugly and she is jealous of the other neighbors who have flowers and 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 other 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 floral arrangements uh, but it's her mom who's making soup with those Chinese vegetables and it's a story about celebrating your culture inviting people in to enjoy your culture as well an important and beautiful book most recently, Grace just had a book published called Before the Sword, and it's a story about Disney's Milan. And this book, this story that Grace wrote, that Disney entrusted Grace with this iconic character, uh, it tells the story that leads up to the movie that is coming out from Disney. Uh, again, another powerful story by Grace Lynn. So let's hop on the old rotary phone and give Grace Lynn a call. I heard that. Yeah, you, right? I heard you talking to your friend and your, your friends and your family saying, oh, that's not real. It is real. I'm gonna call my friend Grace Lynn on a dial-up modem that connects to the internet through a wire in the wall. And that's just how it works. That's called technology. You're giving me this incredulous look. You know what? It's stressing me out. When I get stressed out, I need to drink some coffee. How you doing today, cup of coffee? Another day ending in Y. I hear you. <sighs> okay, let's give Grace a call. Grace, 
Grace Lynn, how are you? Hi, Jared. Hi, everyone. I'm author and illustrator Grace Lynn, and these are my chickens. And because I'm here with my chickens, I thought today I would teach all of you how to draw a chicken using the number two. So to draw a chicken is really easy. Get your paper and your pencil. Make sure your paper is horizontal. And we're going to draw a chicken using the number two. First, the way we're gonna draw the two is not up, straight up and down. We're gonna draw the two kind of at an angle, kind of slanted. So draw your two kind of like this. Do you see how the two is kind of slanted? All right, now from that two, what I want you to do is go to the end there and you're gonna make a really big round, 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 round curve that meets up with the top of your two. All right, now from there, I want you to make a sharp, small triangle like that. And then put a little line there. All right, now you can put kind of like uh, an M at the top of your chicken like that. That's the chicken's crown. And then you could do two kind of ovally shapes there or just one, depends on how you want to do it, uh, for the chicken's waddle. Then give your chicken a nice eye like that, or you can give it a nice round eye like that. And then you can do its feet. And the way you do the feet, chickens have really skinny feet and legs. You just do a line that comes out like that and then do one, two, three lines like that for one foot and then do another one. One, two, three. There you go, there's your chicken. And if you wanna do a chick, all you have to do is make a small eight like this. One, two, and then put another small triangle there. Give a little eye, do a little wing like that, and then another two skinny feet like that. And there you have a chicken and a chick. You can make a lot more chicks if you want. So I hope you had a good time drawing a chicken with me. Thanks so much. And thanks for having me, Jarrett. Keep drawing. Well, Grace, I so appreciate you taking the time to draw for us and to introduce us to your chickens. Now, now, I don't mean to be all like, oh, you have chickens, I have chickens too. Like, you know, I hate when people do that about their chickens. But we here in the Krasowska house kind of have a chicken too. I mean, don't get jealous, but this is, this is our chicken. Okay, all right, you got me. That one was not real. That was Ralph the Pug wearing a chicken mask, as he does. Today's Wednesday. That's just what the pugs do on Wednesday. Well, it is now time for Family Draw Time. Frenzy! Okay, so today on Family Draw Time, we are going to be drawing our friends. So I'm going to <laughs> scoot back here and Lucia and Zoe are going to take over the show. Yay! Hey, we look. take over! Taking over. Okay, <laughs> so a sketch pad for you and a sketch and a sketch pad for you. Fancy. Thank you. Fancy business. And you know, we're thinking about our friends. We haven't seen some of our friends in a while and we're missing our friends. So we're going to spend a little bit of time Drawing about our, drawing our friends and talking about our friends. Um, or would you rather have a marker? I want to start with I want black, black though. But do we have black. an eraser? 
Um, yes, we have an eraser right over okay. here. Okay, a regular pencil. You can have a regular pencil. Oh yeah, sure. can I have a regular pencil? You can have a regular pencil. We like sure. regular pencils. <laughs> okay, here's an eraser. Apparently, oh, fancy. Uh, have here's one for eraser. you. No. Here's one for you. Uh, fancy. That's right. You're lefty. See, this is this is called parenting when you know one kid is a lefty and one kid is a righty and you're going to put them in a small space to draw on camera you put the lefty here you put the righty over here okay so um why don't you just start drawing and if you want to talk about who you're drawing um hey did you know did you guys know that today is uh tate's birthday really yeah our friend tate he's turning 12 today Happy wow. birthday, Tate. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Tate. I'm embarrassing my kid. Yes, you are. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's a long show. Um, Let's see, who are you drawing? I am going to draw Jack, Aaliyah, Mia, and Lila. I'm going to start my with class. my best friend, Mateo. Mateo. Why are you Mateo? Mateo. Mateo. Okay, be poopy. It's not a nice eraser. <laughs> okay, so how dare you? So who are you drawing right now? Um, Aaliyah. Um, how? Wait, wait. How long have you known Aaliyah? Um, I went to a new school, so <laughs> I met her this year. Yeah, that's cool. Wait, so what cute. part in the year? Cause I know you like you guys made. You guys were friends later in the year, I think, right? Um, no, we were always friends. Yeah, but I know Mia was your first friend, right? In your new school? Yes. And Zoe has known Mateo since they were two, two. years old. I mean, we met each other before that. You met each other when you were in utero, I guess, technically. But we didn't really... But you no. were in your mom's belly, so you didn't really shake hands. No. <laughs> no. Um, but you guys... No, we never shook hands. <laughs> no. Uh, and you, you and Mateo started in preschool together when yep. you were two years old. Mm-hmm. But when you were in, in carriages, your moms met and chatted. Yeah. I got this a long body. <laughs> well, Mateo is getting tall. True. Okay, and we'll just do that. I don't know why, but my people have always comically big heads. That's okay. Everyone has their own style. <laughs> right, now, okay. and for everyone watching at home, uh, maybe this should be a fun time for you to draw some of your friends and yeah. think about uh, a friend maybe you haven't seen in a little while, <laughs> and you can draw a picture of them, and uh, maybe one of the grown-ups at home could, could text a, a picture over as a way to say hello and we're thinking about you. Yeah, I was actually FaceTiming with Mateo earlier. We were doing math together. Oh, great. I'm making the nose by erasing the lines and erasing the face. <laughs> Wait, I <what>? don't know. <laughs> Wait, what? How would I draw Mateo's hair? Um, scribbles! No, I think I just get a little... usually short on the side. Like this kind of? Yeah. Oh, that's he, a long and depending nose. on when, it could either be aqua or purple, uh, actually, or just black. He dyed his hair yesterday. And what color? It's aqua. Aqua so again. Aqua is a good color for Mateo. He's done aqua, red, red. Purple, I remember red, pink. He's done a lot of colors. Yes. I oh, have good. done a streak of a streak of pink. <laughs> <A strink. laughs> I am drink. <terrible. laughs> oh my god. I don't know what that What's means. your favorite part about Aaliyah, Lucy? What's your favorite char characteristic? Um, she is funny and nice and cool. Cool. I just said cool. You can't say cool after that. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. That's great. You're both doing a great job. Thank you. Yeah, Lucy, yours is really good, too. I like her glasses. <laughs> oh, I just waste a little bit of the chin. Okay. Oops. Whoopsie daisy. Oh my gosh. I do like to draw a cartoony though because that's just my style. Wait, wait. No, wrong route. Hey. You almost done with the eraser, Lucy? Um. <laughs> Oh, 
you said it's mine. Ugh. I said with the eraser. Wait, did I say your eraser? Yes, you did. I don't know. Well, I have to check the playback. <laughs> I think next time I'll make sure I have two erasers for moments when they're both drawing simultaneously. <laughs> to avoid unnecessary arguments. Which happen a lot in this house. Really? Yes. <laughs> I don't know that. You want to start with... Nope. Here, I'll get it. I'm going to always hold face. Kind of, because... I'll hold a few. That's not going to stay. Okay, let me find... So let's do, we'll just do, let's do one for now, and then we'll, then we'll say goodbye to... Yeah. Goodbye? No, 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 we'll finish the, we'll finish these one drawings, and then we'll say goodbye to the audience, I mean. Oh. Yeah. I was like, am I saying goodbye to these? No, 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 go ahead, you take, take one, go ahead. Okay. I'm just going to be... Oh. Maybe sort of this color, just a light, like this color? Sure, go ahead. Tim, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> So while while my kids are finishing up dark. their drawings here, uh, grown-ups can uh, visit just... uh, my website, studiojjk.com, and you can click through to the well, dedicated page for dark. Draw Every Day with JJK. <laughs> okay. And there you'll find out where you can submit your kids' artwork so that uh, it could be featured like at the dark. end of a future episode. I mean, it, I chose a too dark color, but it was the lightest brown, but That's it's okay. still too it's... dark. And if you hear that, that's the sound of their little brother stomping his feet and running <laughs> he's around crazy. upstairs. <laughs> With his ghost that's why he's only on the show on Fridays. Yes. Yeah, I think if we put him twice a week, oh. that way, no, no, no. No, no, no. Because it's also during his nap time. Dun, dun, dun. Let me find a dark Dun, 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 Aqua dun. Aqua-ish. They're like, what? Well, we get to keep these sketchbooks. Yeah. No, these are for you to yes. use. I'm evil. <laughs> okay. He kind of has, like, curly hair. He has curly hair. This is how I do that. Um, she usually has a bun. Nice. Nice this work. is friend Aaliyah, so cute. She's awesome. She's really nice. Well, we're going to let these guys finish up their artwork. We want to thank all of you for joining us today. And we're going to keep drawing. I hope that you keep drawing as well. And um, so, Luke, could you say goodbye to everyone watching? Bye, bye. 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 It's a close-up. It's a close-up. And check out the awesome work that you all submitted. Keep drawing. Bye-bye. <laughs> Please click like and subscribe and keep drawing. See you soon.